Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello, and thank you so much for watching another great episode of Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we're covering off on one of my favorite tools that I use day in and day out called Cloudflare. Now, Cloudflare is essentially a DNS management tool that allows you to keep all of your domains in one place for easy access, protection, and updating of your records as and when you need to do that. So, what are we going to cover on today's episode? First of all, why you need a DNS management tool in your life in the first place. Why you would use Cloudflare over another tool. Understanding the risks and ensuring that there's no downtime. Preparing your domain names. Creating a Cloudflare account. Adding your domain names to the account. Updating the name servers on your domain. Checking to see if it's live. And then finally, some advanced features that you can use for free, all within the platform. Without further ado, let's get started and talk a little bit more about Cloudflare. So why do you need a DNS management tool in your life? And um, wait a minute, what is a DNS management tool? Maybe we should cover off on that first. Now, I'm totally a tech geek. You guys know that. So I use the term DNS to talk about the domain name system for your actual domain name. Now, what happens is when you go to a domain name registrar, doesn't matter where it is, you buy a domain name, somehow your domain registrar needs to know where to actually point your domain to, to make things like your website visible, your email working, all of that good stuff. So your DNS is really important because it's good for you to have access to it if you're a business owner. And it's also great to be able to share access with your web developer and the person who is maybe helping you with your email or updating different parts of your website, for example. Um, and they might not be the same person. So it's always good to have a separate tool for all these different pieces so that you're always using the best of breed or the most responsible application for your specific needs. What I thought I would do is just diagram out a little bit about how DNS management works so that you have an idea. And I'll just do that here on my computer. Um, and then I'll go through and explain more about what Cloudflare is. So let's hop onto my computer. What I'm going to do is just open up my applications here. And I'm going to open up MindNode. Where is that? Cool. So this is just my application on my computer for doing mind maps. Now let's say I've got a domain name, demo.company. Once you've registered your domain name, you're able to have different records. So there are what are called MX records, for example. And MX records are what points to your mail servers. You could be hosting your email with, for example, Google Apps if you wanted to, or you could be hosting with Microsoft 365. It doesn't matter. But within your domain name, you've got to update your MX records to be able to point to the right mail servers and make sure that your mail to your domain name is flowing through. You also have got what are called A records. And A records usually point to an IP address for hosting. And you can really keep your hosting anywhere. So for example, if you purchase your domain name with crazy domains, you can have Google Apps for mail, which points to a certain set of MX records for mail servers. And you can have what are called A records pointing to your specific website hosting. In addition, when you're using tools like Google Analytics, for example, oops, we've got to somehow scroll across. Um, when you're using tools like Google Analytics, you often have got to verify ownership of your domain. And you do that often by using what are called text records or by using another type of record, which is called a CNAME record. Now, you can add all of these into the main name server 
hosting so that you're able to verify your domains for Google Analytics, for Google Search Console, for a number of other options um, when you're starting to use different cloud technology tools. And it's important to keep all of this in one place. Now, if you've registered your domain with Crazy Domains, of course you're going to be able to update all of these records right there with Crazy Domains. However, the problem with doing that is that it can sometimes take up to one hour, two hours, all the way up to 48 hours for your records to propagate or become live. Now that can be so annoying to you as a business owner when you want to get something verified and you want it to be done quickly. Or if you're changing your mail over from one server to another and you just want it to work properly, right? So this is where Cloudflare comes in. Now why would you use Cloudflare over another tool? Not just because of these issues that I'm talking about with speed of propagation. Let's have a look at their landing page and I'll walk you through a couple of other features that you should be aware of. So if you go to cloudflare.com, you'll see that Cloudflare has got a really nice landing page. You can play the video if you want to. And essentially what it says here is, make the internet work the way that it should. Because Cloudflare hosts the DNS, that means that you get what's called redundancy or backups of your DNS server, and it will never go down. You can see that Cloudflare's got hosting all over the world. It's not only going to help you with um, that speed issue that we talked about before, but it's also going to help website performance, meaning your website could potentially even load faster by using Cloudflare. It's also got WAF, DDoS protection, and security with using SSL to defend your website against all kinds of attacks. If you're using even the more advanced version of Cloudflare, you're able to blacklist specific countries, specific IP addresses, and make sure that your website is 100% protected from these types of malicious attacks. In addition, Cloudflare is reliable. It has over 35% of market share, meaning that it's running the fastest and the most reliable managed DNS service in the world. Lastly is Insight. It helps you to actually identify behavior of things that you wouldn't normally be able to identify in terms of traffic to your site. It could be from search bots, malicious traffic, it could be unidentified traffic, and it actually will show it to you in terms of analytics. So you can compare not only across your Google Analytics, but also your Cloudflare Analytics. And as your business starts to grow, you'll be able to have full insight over your entire business. The other main advantage of Cloudflare is that you only have got to log into one location for all of your domains. So if you are a business owner and you have got multiple domains across different countries, for example, or it could be that you have multiple versions of your domains, Cloudflare will allow you to keep all of those, and I've seen businesses with up to 100 domains for their specific business. It will allow you to keep all of those in one place and get everything set up completely correct for your specific configuration. Not that you necessarily need to be able to do this on your own, but Cloudflare allows you to have control, and then you can give a password as well to your web developer, to your email manager, to your IT person, so that everyone is able to have access to your records. Now, and understanding the risks around Cloudflare, if you're not using a tool like Cloudflare, you just happen to run the risk of not being able to keep backups of your records, not having everything in one place, and just, like if, if your name server goes down, for example, there's not much that you can do. It affects everything, your mail and your website. With Cloudflare, there is redundancy, so you know that you're always going to have backups and copies of all of your information. I just love that it's easy to use, it's simple, and it keeps everything all in one place for you. Now, there are a, little, a few risks, of course, in switching across, so I'm going to walk you through, when we come back from a break, on exactly how to set up Cloudflare specifically for your business so that you can make the most of it. I'm Laurel Gray, and we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Teach Me Tech. I'm Laurel Gray and you're watching all about Cloudflare, which is a DNS management tool to keep all of your domain names for your entire business in one place so that you can easily manage your records. How exciting. Okay, it's not that exciting, but look, you gotta know about this, guys, come on. <laughs> all right, let's hop onto the computer. What I'm gonna do is show you how to set up your Cloudflare account. Um, 
and get all the pricing information, which is free, so don't worry about it. Um, but before we do that, what I'm going to get you to do is figure out where all of your domain names are located. Because the process of changing over to Cloudflare means that we've got, to, we've got to change what are called your name servers. So that means you need to gather up all of the login details for where you've registered all of your domains. Now, I've worked with a lot of different businesses, and some of them have got domains in up to five or six different accounts. GoDaddy, Crazy Domains, Host, host Papa, Host Daddy, um, Register.com, NetRegistry, all of those different ones. Now's your chance to not have to worry about logging into all those different places and get everything all in one spot. Cool. So let's prepare your domain names, and I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to hop back on the computer, and we can see here I'm in my, uh, my account here, and I've got my name servers already updated for my uh, domain name. Um, but you've got to basically have access to where your domain is registered. This one happens to be in a reseller console for crazy domains. Um, so yours is going to look different, but you have to make sure that you've got access to finding out where your domain name was registered. So what you can always do is go to whois.com. And this is where you can do a search for any domain name and find out where it was registered. So if you forgot where your company domain name was registered, I know, it happens. You can go and type in the domain name and click on whois, and it will give you a full registration information uh, printout. So we can see here, mine is registered to crazy domains, and it shows what, where, what the registrant information is. I'll just make this a bit bigger. And it gives all of the registration details. Um, you can see the actual email address that it's linked to. And we can see the existing name servers that are there. Now, the name servers are, of course, what points all of those records out where they need to go. And you can double check that way if you've forgotten. So it will tell you the referral URL will always be where you actually have registered the domain. If you have any issues, you can always go back and ask your closest IT provider to give help to you, and they might be able to provide that information. The other thing that you need to keep open in your browser window is a website called whatsmydns.net. <laughs> whatsmydns.net. And I'm going to put in here demo.company, and here we can see that all the name servers are pointing to Cloudflare already. That's okay, we're going to change them again. Um, and then you can even look up the MX records if you're not sure where your mail is pointing. We can see here that demo company is using Google Apps or G Suite because we can see all of the records here. Cool. So what you need to do is make sure that you've got access to where all of your domains are and at least just get them all in one place. And then we'll go in and we'll set up our Cloudflare account. So what you've got to do is go to cloudflare.com and just click sign up. I'm going to use my admin at demo.company email and copy it and paste it and create my password. I agree and click create account. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.